This video is sponsored by Exter. I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make an iPhone 4 usable in 2022. In previous videos similar to this, I've just showed myself using this phone in 2022, but I actually wanna show you guys the process of installing these applications onto this phone. This one in particular is running iOS 4, so it's running the original software that it shipped with. And the interesting thing about the iPhone 4 is that it can still be downgraded to iOS 4 untethered, no SHSH blobs. I'll probably be making a tutorial on that sometime in the future, but in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to get some apps onto this thing so you guys can actually make a good use out of this device in 2022. Let's get into it. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this video is gonna assume that you are running iOS 4. However, if you are on a newer version, such as iOS 5 or iOS 6, you can still follow these steps, but the process of jailbreaking your device is gonna be a little different because every single jailbreak is different. So just figure out what jailbreak is appropriate for your specific device. In this case, we are using Red Snow on OS X Snow Leopard, as you guys can see, a very old version of Mac. If you are on the Windows platform, you can probably use Windows XP or Windows 7. And of course, a lot of you guys might be wondering, why do we need to jailbreak this device? And the reason is simply because without a jailbreak, we're not gonna be able to use this phone to its full potential. Like we're not gonna be able to download apps through the App Store because the App Store doesn't work after 12 years. And so we wanna go ahead and jailbreak, add these two repos, I'll have them at the top right. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. And the first tweak that we're gonna install is gonna be called App Sync for iOS 4.0. This one's really important because this one will allow us to essentially sideload applications from our computer. So if we have an IPA saved on the computer, we can easily transfer it to this phone. And it's a lot more convenient because uh, some applications aren't available on the App Store anymore. So this is definitely gonna be an important tweak. The next tweak is called Checkmate Store. And this one's gonna allow us to download apps directly through the App Store. but you guys are gonna quickly realize that not every single app is gonna work because some of them have version limitations. And so it's really just a trial and error approach. You need to see which apps work. And once you do eventually start to figure out which apps are compatible with your iPhone, then this thing becomes so usable. Like you can use this to play games, listen to music, all that awesome stuff. It's just super nostalgic. And imagine like bringing this thing out in public, seeing other people's reactions to using such an old phone. Like this thing looks brand new. It's so cool to see. Another thing that we can also do, of course, is sideload, as I mentioned. This one can actually be done on a modern Mac or a modern PC. Uh, we can use an application like iFunbox. If you have any IPAs, you can actually install the IPA through iFunbox, so it's very convenient, and it just pops up on your device just like that, and it's literally ready to go. And I know I've said this so many times before, but this phone, it just feels so premium. Like if this thing came out in 2022, this thing could pass as being like the next flagship device. If it had better specs, of course, but it's still a really good phone for everything that it had to offer. Now, before we continue, here is a quick word from today's video sponsor, Exter. They make some of the most efficient smart wallets in the world. These things are super slim and minimalistic. They can hold up to 12 cards at a time. And most importantly, you can easily pop them out with this little button right over there. They are just so beautiful, super high quality, and they also offer RFID protection, which is always convenient. And the coolest thing is, is that these can also come with a tracker, so you can use this to track the wallet worldwide if you ever lose it. And pretty much connected to your phone. And they come in so many different styles. Like this one here is the Parliament style, but the one that I'm using is their aluminum collection, the card holder. Comparing it against this bulky wallet, you guys can just see how thin it really is. They currently have their summer sale going on where you guys can get up to 25% off with code iClassic at checkout. Be sure to check it out. Links will be in the description box below. And thank you so much to Exter for sponsoring today's video. And now back to the iPhone, let's talk a little bit more about how to make this thing usable in 2022. One of the things that I absolutely love is music and transferring as much music as I can to this thing is pretty important because we wanna pretty much turn this thing into a media device. Like imagine being able to use this thing on the plane or being able to connect your AirPods to this, using it in public. It's a really cool feeling and a lot of people have some pretty interesting reactions to when they see this phone in person. So yeah, definitely consider loading up some songs onto here. You guys can easily do that through iTunes. And I did wanna finally go through some apps that I have on this iPhone 4. 
Um, we have a lot of different games on this, like this little piano app. Of course, we did have like Angry Birds, Guitar Hero, Asphalt, which I showed previously. We also have iSoda on this. iSoda is a really fun app. I don't know if you guys remember this from back in the day. You basically turned your phone into like a glass of soda and you could choose the different flavors and you could like pretend to drink it. And then there would kind of like be like a burp sound effect at the end. It was pretty funny. And there was also another version of this called iBeer. And of course, we did have a couple of their apps on here as well, like Talking Tom. This one is honestly a classic. This one is... Uh, a lot of fun. I'm sure a lot of people remembered this app. You basically talk to the cat, you could smack it and all that stuff. It's pretty funny. Um, so yeah, that one is definitely one of my favorites. We also have Angry Birds. Uh, this app is a classic as well. Like I think every iOS collector who wants to load apps onto their iPhone or iPod Touch, definitely download Angry Birds. This one is a must. And of course, we did have a couple other applications here as well, like Diner Dash, Jetpack Joyride. And I did want to quickly mention, like, as you download more and more apps onto these devices, just be mindful of how much storage you have on them, uh, because uh, these devices usually don't have that much storage. But these apps are also pretty small in size, so just keep that in mind. Um, and I did want to show you guys, I did have a couple of Apple apps here as well, like Find My iPhone, but some of them just don't work. Some of them will simply crash and... Another app that I had here was iMovie. This one is super cool. I definitely want to get my hands on this, uh, maybe use this for a video for a future video. So that would be pretty cool in Labyrinth, which is a game. But yeah, for the most part, I'd have to say this phone is still very much usable after 12 years. Of course, you're not going to be using this phone to look at Instagram stories or anything like that. Like this thing will not log into any social media app. I mean, I was able to log into Facebook, which is pretty cool, but the app is broken. It's not going to work. I mean, you can do basic things like post a status, but like you're not going to be doing that on an iPhone 4 from 2010. Um, and like I mentioned, a lot of this is trial and error. So just figure out which apps work and which ones don't you guys can keep a list because sometimes it can get pretty overwhelming uh, because I honestly found that I was reinstalling the same app so many times without realizing it didn't work so yeah just keep that in mind um, but man this thing is beautiful I wish Apple could make something like this but uh, it's honestly really nice to use in 2022 and like I mentioned, this phone can still be downgraded uh, without SH, SH blobs back down to iOS 4. So if you guys want me to make that video in the future, let me know. I think that would be pretty interesting and a little fun project. Uh, I'm not going to do it on this device. I'll probably do it on another one. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.